Norway is one of the world's northernmost countries, and its freezing winters seem to go on forever. The north wind blows continuously, covering the forests and the lakes with a blanket of frost and snow. Long ago, a very poor woman lived alone with her son deep in the Norwegian snow forest. He was a good boy, and when his mother came down with a cold, he did as much as he could to help. There, this should help you get your strength back. Careful, it's a little hot, mother. And every morning, the son would go out to the barn to get a bowl full of grain so that he could make bread. You see, they were so poor that bread was about all they had to eat until springtime. In an instant, that cantankerous old north wind blew all of the wheat out of the sun's bowl and scattered it on the snow. Well, there was nothing he could do but go back for another bowl full. But no matter how angry he got, it wouldn't bring that precious wheat back. They were so poor that all the food they had left to take them through till spring was that one sack of wheat. He couldn't afford to lose any more. This time, for sure, he just had to make it safely from the barn to the house. is the home of the ancient Vikings, and some of that warrior's blood must have still flowed. That boy, he knew no fear and marched straight for the cave where it is said the North Wind lives. So this is where the North Wind lives. My, how brave. He's marching right into that cave. Brr. Hey, come out. I dare you. Ah. Hey, who's there? All of a sudden, the wind that seemed to never stop blowing stopped. I came a long way to see you. Now you let me in. What do you say? You came all the way just to see me? That's right. And with that, the brave little Viking marched right into the cave. And then... Hello. Yikes! This was the first time anyone had ever come to visit him, and the North Wind was delighted. Please sit down, won't you? I didn't come to visit. Now quit teasing. But... I just want to be friends with you. Why are we so mean? You blew away all of our wheat. Now we can make no bread. Your wheat? I've come to get our wheat back. If we don't, we'll have nothing to eat until spring. Come on now, give it back. The North Wind was really a kind-hearted old gentleman. And when he heard this... <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't have any grain. But won't you take this, please? That's no ordinary tablecloth. It is magic. And whenever you get hungry, all you have to do is think of what you'd like, and it will produce it. A magic tablecloth? Golly, thanks. The little Viking was delighted with his gift and quickly set out for home to show his mother. But night was already falling. 
So he decided to stop at a roadside inn to spend the night. A mean-looking old lady answers his knock. If you want to stay here, you'll have to pay in advance. But the landlady of that inn was known to be the stingiest and meanest lady in the land. Huh. All this will get you is a storeroom. No food. Understand? The little Viking had been marching all day, so as soon as he got to his room, he decided to give the magic tablecloth a try. Tablecloth, tablecloth. Spread me a smorgasbord of banquet fit for Vikings. It was just like a dream for the boy. He, who had never had a full stomach in his life. Uh-oh. The stingy landlady has seen the whole thing. Later that night... <laughs> oh, what a mean old lady. She replaced the North Wind's magic tablecloth with her own ordinary one. The next day, the little Viking returned home just as fast as he could so he could show his mother the North Wind's present. Tablecloth, tablecloth, spread us a smorgasbord a banquet fit for a Viking. What? What's happened? Come on, please, come on, just a little, please. But of course, it was not to be. The boy grew angrier and angrier and then set off once more to have it out with the North Wind. That's funny. That shouldn't be. Okay, tell you what I'll do. Take this sheep. Whenever you need any money, all you have to do is ask it. <sighs> But that day, too, it was growing late, so the little Viking decided once more to stay at the inn. Hmm, that'll be cash in advance. Okay, just a second. Sheep, sheep, money for our sleep. Will that be enough? And do you know what that stingy old landlady did that night? That's right, you guessed it. She replaced the magic sheep with one of her own. <laughs> ah! You can't trick me again. Your tablecloth from sleep only worked once, you old windbag. That shouldn't be at all. I don't need any more presents. Just give me back our grain. That's impossible. I don't have any wheat. All I have to give you is... <gasps> this is a magic stick. All you have to do is say, Go, stick, go! And it will start smacking your enemy until you tell it to stop. The little Viking had no choice, so he took the stick and started home. And once more, his path led past that inn. Yoo-hoo! Aren't you going to stay here tonight, dearie? I'd like to, but I don't have any money. But what's that stick you're carrying? I'll bet it has magic powers like your tablecloth and your sheep. And so it was to be that he would spend another night at the inn. She's only nice to me when she thinks I have something magic. Why was that stingy old lady being so nice to him? He finally began to realize that both the tablecloth and the sheep had lost their powers after he'd used them at the inn. <laughs> Good. He's sleeping soundly. Just sleep tight, my pretty. <laughs> Now, the magic stick is mine. <laughs> Hold right there. I wasn't sleeping. Go, stick, go. Go get her. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Help me. Help me. Okay. Okay. Ouch. I'll give you that. 
smack your old tablecloth and your sheep. Just come off that stick. Do you promise? Yes. Oh, yes, I promise. Just take off that stick. Okay, stick, that's enough. And so the little Viking had his magic presence back at last. And the little Viking and his mother had all they could eat, and enough money to build a warm house, stout enough to withstand even the north wind's most furious blasts. <laughs>